Now we have our draft policy document and the party is asking you to vote on it. It's been a long process to get us to this stage, but a good and inclusive and exciting process, I think. Thousands of people have contributed ideas, discussed, voted, voted things up and down, and we've done what we set out to do. That was to broaden out our ideas and show that we really can make a contribution to British politics. We know that the ideas in our current manifesto are right, and they're good, and they're much needed. But we also know that they don't go far enough, not by a long way. I've already been involved in four elections now. I've been talking to people out in flats or via social media, and it always comes back to the same thing. People actually react really well to our ideas and say that nobody else is really bringing up these issues, but that we're not touching the things that really matter to them. And that's a real shame because we've got so much to offer on the things that are really important to most people in this country. If we want to talk about drug patents, then we need to be talking about the NHS. If we want to be talking about computer science and free software in schools, then we've got to be talking about our education system as a whole. If we want to be talking about the importance of broadband and an infrastructure that's fit for the 21st century, then we need to be thinking about the economy as a whole. Like many of you, I got involved in the party actually just because of one issue. That was the Digital Economy Act. For many of you, it may well have been one other thing, perhaps site blocking, Pirate Bay, civil liberties, CCTV, all the things that we've had so much to say on. Don't think for a minute that the current document actually waters any of these things down, quite the reverse. All these ideas are expressed much better than ever. I know I'll be proud to take these ideas out to voters in the next election that I fight for the Pirate Party holding banks to account and getting money to where it's needed most in our economy, making an education system that really is fit for the 21st century, that's about ideas and development, not narrow tests and benchmarks, really protecting the NHS for now and the future, making a wholesale change in the laws to do with our civil liberties, to really uphold our personal freedoms. We have a responsibility to show that collaborative policy making works. I've talked a lot about a politics that is with people and not to people. We need to show that we can make this kind of politics work. After all, if we can't do it, how can we ever expect Westminster or our local councils to start thinking in this way, in this kind of way that we know so well from the internet? It's not just new ideas about policies that we're offering, it's new ideas of how politics itself can work. I think we can really lead in the worldwide pirate movement. I think lots of people outside the UK have been excited about the things that we're doing. We need to show that actually that we can reach out to people outside of our bubble. After all, if we don't care about the kind of ideas and the things that matter to people outside of our little sphere, how can we ever expect them to care about the things that we're so passionate about? What I'd ask you to do is to think about this document as a whole. There may be individual details you still have questions about. That's why we're setting in an ongoing collaborative process. This isn't the end of the road, it's just the beginning of it. There are still gaps to fill. I know there's more things that I want to add, and that's because I want to, of our ideas to reach out. So I'm urging you to vote yes. I support this document. I think it's the right way forward for the party.
I said at the beginning of this process that we needed to broaden our policy out. We've done that. So it's time to say yes to where we've got to in this process. And it's time to say yes to the next step on the road.